Hi, welcome to Verdi training video program. In this section, I will introduce how to use the TraceX utility to find the root cause of all unknowns of the FADB file in batch mode. Now let's see what you can expect to learn from this video. Firstly, you can learn how to use the TraceX utility to analyze all unknowns in batch and trace to root causes, and all unknowns will be classified into those root causes in the report. And then you will also learn how to use the Verdi Smart Lock to view the report in GUI, and then debug the S propagation path. Before viewing the demonstration, let's think about what's the challenge today to debug an X. Usually, unknowns will be propagated through the design over time. So the first problem we need to face is which X we should debug first. And once we fix an X, we will rerun the simulation to see if that fix can eliminate some other X which are propagated from that one. So the second question is that how many times we need to repeat the process and how many simulations we need to run. In this example, the X may just happen in R1, R2, and R3, but then they propagated through the design over time. Is there a way to analyze all these propagated X so we can simply know all the X are from the root cause R1, R2, and R3, and then debug them directly? Now let's see how to use the TraceX utility to achieve this. Firstly, this is an LCA feature in Verdi, so there are some switches we need to set to enable the feature. The first one is the Verdi TraceX enable. Another switch we should set is to turn off the FADB gate before running the simulation. This is due to some current limitation, so the limitation could be removed in the future. Now let's run the simulation. Remember to add the dash KDB to generate the KDB and add the dash debug access to ensure the FADB can be done. Now we are going to run the TraceX utility to analyze all X. The TraceX provides the manual mode and the automatic mode. In manual mode, you can give a list of signals you want to trace and set lots of settings to constrain your tracing. And in the automatic mode, all you need to do is to load the FADB and KDB, then the tool will get all the X in the design automatically and then do the analysis. Now let's run TraceX in the automatic mode. Since the KDB and FADB are created from the unified front end, so it means that actually we just need to load the FADB and the KDB will be loaded automatically along with the FADB. We can use the dash SSF option to load the FADB and then specify the output report by the dash output option. You can see the tracing is starting and also can see its progress. Now it's done and you can see the simple summary tells you that there are 885 nodes in the design and all of them can be classified to root causes. The report is a text file, so it means we can directly view it with any editor. But the best way is still to use the Verdi GUI to view the report, so that we can use Verdi's rich capability to debug the root cause. Now let's use the dash low trace report option to read the report into Verdi. Now you can use the Verdi smart lock to view the report. In the first section, the report tells you all the constraints which are used during the analysis. Since we are running in automatic mode, so all the constraints follow the default setting. And the second part is the root cause, and all X propagated from it. In this example, you can see that almost all the X are belongs to the first root cause, which means if we fix this one, then we probably can eliminate 800x in one simulation run. Actually, from the report, it already tells you the reason of this root cause is that the X was caused by the floating net. We can simply click this root cause to open the temple flow view. You can see that the X is because of the input value is Z. If we double click the input, the temple flow view will bring us to this net and also tell you it's a floating net in the message form. 
Besides the root cause, you can also see the publication path of any X. Let's go back to the smart log and now let's click on one X. You can see that the X is actually happened in the same root cause, but has been propagated through the design and produced a lot of X. Try to imagine how much time you can save with this utility when you had to debug X and how your productivity can be increased. Now let's review what we had learned from this video. Firstly, we had learned how to use the trace X utility to analyze all unknowns in automatic batch mode. The utility gets all unknowns from the FADB file and then trace to the root cause automatically. And also it classifies all unknowns under found root causes. Secondary, we use the verdi-low trace report command to read the report into verdi GUI. And we view the report in verdi smart log. We also debug the S publication path in the temporal flow view. This is the end of the video. Thank you for your attention.